Hi, welcome to Sid's Tips. Hope you're having a great day and today excited to share with you that New Balance came out with the new Herrero 6s or if you've never even heard about the Herrero then I'm glad you did because I've absolutely loved them. I've owned the 5s for a year. I had these also in a yellow color version which I mostly wore. These I really even have a chance to wear that much. I had them as a backup and they were on sale and so I was going to just keep them for a while. Uh, but uh, I love the, the new look of the 6s. I sold my yellows and now I, I've actually sold these. I've got to ship out today. So but I didn't even have a chance to put the sixes to the test outdoors yet, which I'm looking forward to. And I will be doing another review uh, specifically on the sixes, but I just wanted to just talk about just the difference between some of the twos that I'm observing and a little bit about my experience on the fives. I will put a link in the description as well. So you can take a look for the men's and women's sizes and prices and the great color options. This color is really, really sharp. This is called the Spruce, Black Spruce and Timberwolf. They have a yellow color as well. Uh, they also have a, a bluish color and a like orange color. So really, really sharp looking colors for the men. And then they've got some really nice colors for the women. So as far as sizing, I went the same size on both. Went with a 12 to E. I went up a half the size and so do keep that in mind. As far as width wise, the fives are going to run more narrow in the toe box. Definitely for sure. It feels a little bit tighter, so you may not be able to wear as thick of a sock as I did wear the fives. Uh, as far as uh, with the toe box and being a wider shoe, I felt like it was more clunky to wear. And while they were comfortable, and in fact very comfortable, I have another pair of New Balance insoles I took the ones they come with out and I, I replace them and some you know somebody had mentioned and asked me why would you take out the insoles and put something else in you know isn't that why the shoes are great a lot of people do that and I need to do that to support my arches so these work okay for some people they'll be fine with but a lot of times you can improve the feeling of the shoe by replacing the insoles and even the shoelaces I've got some other self uh, tying shoelaces that I love and I'll put a link to those as well so again, I felt like the fives were a little clunky. Uh, as far as the shoelaces, they didn't hold up the best. I found like I was uh, ever so often I'd have to retie them because they just wouldn't stay uh, well. And that might be because of the eyelets, the way they have it set up. You could see there's a difference between the eyelets. It's, these have like a ribbon that's holding them uh, versus, you know, these are going to be, although there is one ribbon there in the middle. Uh, but these will look like they'll stay a little bit better. Uh, as far as the tongues, the tongues, they don't have any kind of um, stay to keep them locked in place. I didn't find the tongue was a, a bother to me where it moved that much. But one of the things that I found which was so weird was this uh, up the system up here that they had. I, I didn't really understand it. They did away with it uh, on the sixes. I really love the tongue, what they what they did there with that, that's really sharp looking. I mean, look how awesome this color shoe looks. It really is fantastic. They did a great job all the way around. Uh, as far as the tongue, I felt like the five tongue, and, and as I'm feeling it, it, it feels a little bit uh, uh, thicker on top, maybe a little bit thicker on top, but as you go into the shoe, it feels like the top part up up in this area is more padded than than here um, a bit. It feels it feels a little bit more padded. Um, and in fact, you can actually see how the padding thickens up um, right around this area of the shoe. So uh, nicely done there. Uh, as far as around the sides of the shoes, they did a. Uh, it looks like on the inner part back here on the sides, uh, it's got better padding versus. Uh, in here, I noticed that, and when I was actually, before I was ready to shoot the video, I was just wanting to feel around a little bit, and I noticed that the inner part here, um, uh, all around the inside of the shoe, is better padded than the, than the, the fives. Uh, the back of, uh, by your ankle and your Achilles, that feels like it's pretty similar as, as far as the padding there, uh, so, uh, you know, again, just a little bit more on the, the lower part of the inner part of the shoe back there. Looks like it's thicker. 
Uh, on the back, very similar look. You have this piece, although I never use it. This is kind of for helping for put on, putting uh, your shoe on, put it, putting your finger back there. Looks like this is kind of, um, I think more like a semi-reflective um, or maybe it's just the, the look. Um, I, I, you know, they, they both do the same thing. And again, I, I like the, the coloring of what, what they did uh, on the sixes. As far as the soles, the soles are pretty much the same thing. Wearing them, I really didn't notice that much of a difference, if at all, between the two. So we'll have to see, you know, when I'm starting to hike in them, how, how they felt. But wearing them around the house, um, you know, really feels like there, it doesn't look like there were really any changes to the soles at all. Uh, as far as uh, these are vibrant soles, so they're you know supposed to be more slip resistant. Um, I you know felt for the most part confident uh, in these soles. There were times where it, the the a rock may be a little slick, where it felt like I was slipping a little bit, but for the most part, um, these did very well for me uh, when hiking under most conditions. Uh, on the back here, we they both have this same. Uh, part where you could see how the it's the rubberized material sticks out and I was kind of reading more about it I, You know, I've heard different reasons, but one of the last reasons why I heard about this Plate or piece back here the extended rubber is to provide more stability When running when you're landing and so that is the reason for that uh, other than that, um, you know cosmetically you could see it is a different looking shoe. Let me tell you, as I do have a scale, let me go ahead and get the scale out and let's take a look at the difference of the weight between the two. They're both the same size, so that will be of help. Now, as far as the fives, and these are again a size 12 2E, 14.1 ounces for the fives. And let's see what they are for the six is 13.2. So it's gonna be lighter shoe, uh, which is nice that it uh, is a little bit lighter in the shoe and I'm sure it's uh, both the uh, material on top um, more so, because it looks very similar as far as the sole. Now talking about the tops, from what it, I understand and people say, it, the, the new top for the sixes is gonna be more breathable than the fives. I didn't find my feet got uh, extremely hot, but uh, you know there were times where I did uh, definitely have sweaty feet. Obviously, when it's warmer out, um, your, your feet are gonna be sweaty. Uh, if you do have an excessive sweat issue, there is a really great product that I use for that. I'll put a link to it, actually to my video, where you could take a look that does really help. I'm using it for my armpits where I have more of a sweaty issue there. So if you do have sweaty feet, take a look at that. Uh, one of the other nice things that they have put on the tag on the sixes, it says 1% for the planet through 2021. New Balance will donate 1% of MSRPs from the Fresh Foam Herrero six sold in the US to 1% for the planet to benefit organizations working on climate change and public lands. So New Balance is always trying to do something you know, there, um, and I like what uh, they're doing as far as that. Uh, so, again, this is the new sixes. Let me just show you the difference between the two. So, this is the top. Give you a little bit of idea. Again, it's going to be a more of a narrow cut on the sixes versus the fives. Then we have the sides. Again, very, very similar as far as, you know, with the soles, the look, obviously it's cosmetically, it looks a little bit different. The back uh, there, and, and then of course the soles, and then the front. And lastly, actually, let's talk about the uh, front there. So uh, they both have a little bit of a toe guard around the front. Uh, this one actually feels um, like it's kind of got a thicker kind of material on the toe versus here, but um, let me just see. So it looks like they both have this toe protection up front from stubbing around there and, and over here, so I don't see that much of a difference. I'm sure there is some. Again, there are some others that have reviewed this shoe in a deeper detail, but again, I'm just sharing with you just 
um, initially with having not having too much time to uh, put these to the test, uh, but uh, again, just giving you a high overview and high level feel of the shoes. So there you go. I'm really uh, excited to put these to the test. Uh, the, again, these are a little bit more narrow than I was hoping, but the good part is it feels like they stay in my foot. Uh, uh, my foot stays so much better in the shoe from when I was wearing it around the house. Let me know if you have any questions. I really appreciate your time. New Balance did a great job. And if you're wearing them, feel free to leave any comments that might be helpful to others. And I will try and answer any questions you have. And especially after I've had a, an opportunity to put them more to a test as I go on future hikes. All right, everybody, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.